Hey folks, Rich here from Create Waterloo, and this is our last video before the submission deadline of Wednesday, June 24th. This week's video is going to look at how to play along with a click track and also how to submit your video and record your video as well. So we're going to have a little bit of discussion on both of those topics, so stay tuned for more information. Okay folks, for this section we're going to look at how to play along with the click track, in particular for O Canada. Now, first things first, we want you to make sure that you've downloaded the MP3, which there is a link in the description below, and there's also, it's on the website if you are uh, on the Create Waterloo website. Now, the way that we've organized the click track is that you're going to be using some type of device to play this back into your ear. So you're going to need a device that requires headphones. Um, now, this MP3 is, it works out to be using wood blocks as your metronome. So you're going to hear a high wood block on the downbeat of every measure. So in each measure there's four counts. One, two, three, four. You're going to have a high wood block on the very first beat and then three consecutive low blocks following that high block. So you will hear this sound. I will play for you right now. Now that piano pitch that you just heard was actually a reference pitch for those of you who wanted to sing along with your playing. Now each of the uh, groups of performers, whether you're a percussionist, whether you're a guitarist, ukulele, or a singer, you each have a, a point where you will enter in a little bit differently before the song starts. So I'm going to break those down right now. Uh, if you're going to do the ukulele guitar, you will actually be the first ones to enter. So you're going to hear uh, four clicks on the metronome and then you're going to come in with your strumming pattern, whichever one you choose, on the second measure. Now uh, I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. Now when you enter in with your, with your uh, strumming pattern, you'll also have the reference pitch in your ear from the metronome to be able to sing along if you choose to do so. For, so right now I'm going to just play along with the metronome as per how you would enter in with it. So here we go. So you're going to enter in after the first four counts. Three, four. And so then you would potentially start singing or you can continue just to strum along. For the drums, you're going to be coming in after two measures of metronome counts. So that's going to sound like this. Two, three, four ukuleles. And one, two, three, four, one. Okay, and then finally if you're singing you will get that reference pitch, remember, on the second measure, but technically you will not enter in until after three full measures of metronomes. So uh, this will help us align all the videos together after you submit them. So here, this is how we're going to do this now. So we have... Oh, Canada. So it's fairly straightforward. So you can choose to play just the drums or just the guitar, ukulele, or you can just sing. Or if you wanna make it even a little more complicated or more difficult for you, you are welcome to combine any of those instruments together. So you can sing and drum. <laughs> I'd love it if you tried to drum, play guitar, and sing at the same time, that'd be amazing. Uh, so uh, just stay tuned for the next section to talk about how to record this and how to upload it to the uh, website. You're going to need two different devices in order for you to record the O Canada. One would be a device that has video capabilities such as a webcam or your phone. And, this, and the other one has to have the capability of having headphones. Now what the headphone device is going to have is the click track downloaded. So you're going to want to access that link below and that's in the description to download the, the file, the MP3 file and have it moved over to whatever device it is. So in this case, I'm actually going to use it on the iPad. So I've downloaded the file. It's sitting on my iPad. And in my case, I'm going to use a laptop to use the webcam to record myself. 
Now, what we wanna do is try and hide the headphones a little bit out of the way. So you're just gonna put the cord behind your back and so that you just have your headphones in place. Now, you're welcome to use wireless headphones if you have them. We're just trying to keep the cord out of the general vicinity of the, where the video camera is. Um, it would be great from a visual standpoint if we could see both the instrument and you. So you can pick whatever neutral backdrop you have. Uh, we just try to keep the focus on the musician and the instrument themselves. And then the sound quality really depends on uh, what type of device you use. An iPhone or an Android phone has fantastic audio and video capabilities. So uh, it's completely fine to just record in that mode. You can choose to do it in landscape or, or, or portrait, uh, meaning the phone is upright or on its side. Uh, so in terms of the order of how I'm going to start these uh, uh, devices, I will start my recording first by pressing the uh, little red dot on my laptop, and then I will press play on my click track, and then I'm gonna watch in my camera. So that's just a, a small example of how you can record this. Like I said, it really doesn't matter whatever uh, device you have that you're most comfortable with. Um, and once you have that file, you're then gonna want to uh, get that file onto the computer or you can go from your phone and use a browser to then access the website, uh, which has a form that you need to fill out because we need everybody's uh, consent to use your video before you can then upload. So I'm going to explain in the next section the, the form process. I'll work it, I'll show you how to use the, the form on, on the, the screen. And then that form is also, the link is in the bio as well in the bottom. So we're just gonna talk our way through how to upload your video files. There are two options for you to access the artist in residence website. One is through the city of Waterloo, which is waterloo.ca, or you can go to the We Are Waterloo uh, or Create Waterloo YouTube channel, and you can click on the links in the descriptions below the videos. There will be one for a submission in week three as well as week four. Now, when you click on this link, it will take you automatically to the We Are Waterloo artist community page. Now, the other way to get through there is by getting to waterloo.ca, you then scroll down to arts and culture. You then scroll to artist in residence. And then you sc scroll to submit creation. And this will take you to the exact same page as the link, as you'll see from the YouTube channel. Now this page is basically a consent form. And so what we're gonna do here is just put in our name and then an email, whatever that might be. And then you would like to stay in contact, uh, whether you are an artist or a parent. Uh, consent, yes. And then in this box, you're gonna actually draw your signature with a mouse or with a trackpad, depending on the device you use. So we're just going to draw consent. If you're not happy with it, you can clear it and then you press submit. The next form here, you want to click on the upload your video here, which will then take us to the Dropbox submissions. So we're going to choose our file, making sure that we have the file in the folder. We know where it is on our computer. I'm just gonna select a random video here. This will then take us to our final screen where we type in our name and we put in our email address again. And then you click upload. And this will essentially send that file to the Create Waterloo team. So we hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, there is an email here 
Sonia Poeska at waterloo.ca. Sonia will be able to answer any of your questions in regards to the forms or the upload process. And we hope you uh, enjoyed this project and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Okay, folks, so that's it. We hope you make your submissions by next Wednesday, June 24th. This will allow us to uh, consolidate all the videos, that, all the entries. And um, we tell your friends, please encourage you to subscribe because we do have another project coming up after O Canada and we'd love to have your help. So stay creative for We Are Waterloo.